My name is Ron Segal. I'm a freelance designer from Tel Aviv, Israel, and this is a day in my life. All right, good morning. It is almost seven in the morning. I usually wake up around six to manage to get up before the kids. Now that it's seven, I'm gonna go wake them up and have breakfast before heading to the office. So I about a 20 minute ride with this scooter to the office and it's a pretty fun way to start the morning. So I'm working from this co-working space, which is pretty cool because I get to have my own room, which is important for me for privacy so that I can concentrate and do my work. But also I can get, kind of use the shared facilities, which are kind of like meeting room when my clients come by or this awesome roof, coffee machine, kitchen, all of that stuff. And I get to meet other people and not feel as alone um, as I was when I was working from home. So I'm pretty happy about this. All right, so today is actually going to be a super intensive day. It's not a regular day. It's going to be really long and heavy, uh, but we will get started with a client meeting. So I have a client of mine coming over right now. It's actually a past client. I already bid, build a website for them. This is kind of phase two. They want to expand it. So client can come here. We're going to have a session, kind of go over the um, kind of scope of what they want to add to the website so that I can estimate the pricing and timeline for it. Rock and roll. All right, so first meeting of the day went pretty good. I feel confident about the scope and I'll have to send them a proposal later on this week. Anyway, I'm heading to lunch. Usually I try to eat lunch with a friend or somebody just to have people to hang out with, but today is a pretty tight day because I'm heading out to another client meeting very soon. So I'll just try to grab like a quick hummus and then head off to the next meeting. So I just got back from the meeting and uh, it went pretty well. So these guys, they actually initially wanted me to uh, design a website for them, but I wasn't available. So then a few months passed. Now they basically built the building, the, the website themselves, and they kind of want me to be kind of a consultant, just give them feedback on going on their marketing assets, their website, their product. So we were discussing kind of like, I have this kind of engagement with clients that I call virtual chief creative officer. So we were discussing the opportunity for that and kind of think, see how to structure that. So that's also a possibility. So basically now I have kind of like three clients that I might be working with next quarter. The one that I met this morning, these guys and one uh, another client that I met yesterday. Now, obviously, not obviously, but I'll just not, not gonna be able to work with all of them, probably just gonna be working with one of them. But since I don't know that all of them are going to accept my proposal, then I'm trying to progress with as many of them as I can. And then hopefully um, either at least one of them is gonna close or I'm gonna have the opportunity to choose the one that I want best. Now I'm back at the office. It's good. These day, this day turned out into a whole meeting day. Now I've got a meeting with Ryan, who's a designer from Australia. 
he runs the Instagram account for uh, Use Pitch Proof. It's it's a really great account, and we might uh, collaborate on content together. So I'm gonna discuss that with him, and then later maybe get some work done today. So it is 6 p.m. right now. Usually on most days, by this time I would be home, you know, playing with the kids a little bit, eating dinner, putting them to sleep. But today, as I said, it's a, a little bit of a different day. So apart from my design business, I also have an online school where I teach other designers. And this week we've actually launched um, a new course about web design. And today is the last day of kind of the lunch week. And I'll be doing a live stream on YouTube um, to teach people kind of like web design stuff, how to sell uh, websites for a lot of money. And so because most of my audience is in the United States and I'm based in Israel, in order to make it uh, comfortable for people from the US to watch it, I'll have to do it when it's kind of late here. So I'll do it at 9 p.m. my time, which is in three hours. Because I wake up early and I'm a morning person, I wouldn't really survive in that point, and so I gotta rest. Now, the thing about working in an office like that is that unlike working from home where you can take naps, here it's a little bit difficult to take naps, but if I won't take a nap, I'm not really gonna survive this long evening. Um, and so I'm gonna try and nap on this little bed here. I'm gonna try and do like a power nap for like 30 minutes, then get something light for dinner um, and then like practice for my live stream and hopefully that'll be, uh, that'll go well. When I'm eating alone without people, I like to keep reading the book that I'm reading. So at home I read on my Kindle, but here on my iPhone I can keep reading from the same place, so it's pretty awesome. Right now I'm reading Shogun, which is an amazing, amazing book. If you haven't read it, it's really a masterpiece. Definitely check it out. All right, it's time for the live stream. So it is now 10, 15 p.m. Super, super tired. The stream went pretty well, even though I was really, really tired. I pushed out the energy and I see there were like 303, 330 people at the same time concurrent. I don't know the total people who watched the stream, but it was pretty good, pretty fun time doing. Um, so usually to end the day, I basically I go and document everything that went on today, all the good stuff, all the struggles that I had today. Um, so I'm going to do this right now. It's really important for me to reflect back on, um, to know what works, what doesn't work, what I need to improve and to kind of realize patterns in my work days. Um, so I'm going to go do that right now. As I've mentioned, this is really not a typical day, but um, it's a day. It's a day in a life. So let me know if you've enjoyed this video. I'm thinking actually about doing kind of a series of a day in life with other designers. So if, you, so if you thought this video was cool, let me know in the comments and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.